What is good, everybody? Welcome to another YouTube video. This is a JJK Curse Clash tips and tricks video. I have five tips to help you get started on your journey to getting better at JJK Curse Clash. No, I mean, no, this is tips. This is five tips and tricks to get better for real. It's just really like my first like initial things that I would figure out that I don't really see anybody really highlighting. Really. So here, here's the first tip. First tip is dashing. All right, I already know people know to dash, but it's when and how to dash. Um, when you're dashing, you wanna make sure that you're not abusing it because you have that meter at the bottom right there. Do not abuse your dash, but only dash when you see or sense your opponent about to attack. The reason is that when you dash, you can dash, the dash is made so that when you're dashing, you can go into a punch or kick and you can use the extra leverage that you get from an auto combo or like if you hit square or triangle you do a little lunge or you do some type of thing to lead you to your enemy so dashing to the left and or right or dashing straight back and then lunging at them with your attack will automatically like every time hit your opponent the second tip i wanted to highlight for you guys is when to use your special techniques now I've only really played with Gojo, so this is from a Gojo's perspective. But generally, when I use like even like uh, Kugasaki and stuff like that, using your special techniques is a little bit more riskier actually than using your ultimate. Let me tell you guys why. Using your special techniques generally don't grant you any type of uh, how do you say guaranteed invincibility or hit that I know of just yet. And so what you want to do is what I would say to use your special abilities is when you have knocked away your opponent that you fought, use your special ability on the opponent that your friend is fighting. Again, this is a team battle. This is a 2v2. Do not focus so much on one person. These tips aren't going to be focused on one person. They're going to revolve around the team effort. So as you use maybe a triangle or circle combo to knock away your opponent, knock him away and turn around and immediately try to strike the opponent that your friend is, is, is um, striking. The reason I say this is because you get a cooperation bonus with that attached and you get your special art off, which is does a, a massive amount of damage. I know hollow purple does crazy damage when you when you aim that thing and, and pull it off. It does crazy damage. It even does damage or even does some type of effect to your, your teammate. All right, so tip number three I wanted to highlight for you guys is Auto comboing. Auto comboing is your best friend. Using the circle going, or certain not circle, using the square uh, auto combo into your curse technique is going to save you a lot more times than you trying to just simply knock them away. Now, I know that people are going to say, oh, but I have to conserve my curse energy. Yes, but when you're in situations where you just need to get their damage off, using that quick auto, auto combo. And then getting in, the, getting that curse technique at the end, that damage is gonna help so much. And a little tidbit for you guys: you're not going to deal damage the first two hits. Some people have been saying that as if it's some glitch or as if it's some mechanic or something that's stupid in the game. JJK is literally this is literally a JJK game. The first two hits, basic attacks will not do damage. They don't do damage until it's combined with a curse energy attack or curse energy. Period. That's why uh, Yuji, when he was so strong, he was dealing damage, but when he combined it with his cursed energy, it dealt way more damage, right? So that's just my little tip for that. Tip number four for you guys. Tip number four for you guys is gonna be something very simple and very, very, very easy. Conserve, 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 conserve your cursed energy. I know I just said to make sure you're using that combo that uses the cursed energy, but again, this is where the kind of decision making comes in conserve that energy the reason i say that is because when you're in situations where your teammate needs your help or you're in situations where you may be occupied and your teammate is just like getting thrashed again you can do what i told you, you can knock away your opponent and you have enough curse technique or curse energy to actually get a, 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 some type of move off to get your opponent some space you know get your give your teammate some space a bit also with that it works both sides when you want to unleash a, a barrage of attacks you want to set something up ha just having at least four bars of uh curse energy does you wonder so i will say tip 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 keep at least three to four bars of curse energy 
active when you're on the battlefield. Try not to let it go down to two. Because you're gonna have to, you have to keep, you know, keep getting it up, and then when you're trying to use your combos, it's gonna keep using your cursed energy, and it's gonna keep drowning it. So that's gonna be that. Final tip of the day, and I'll let you guys go. Hope you guys have been joining, the, enjoying the video. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. The last tip is going to be use your joint attacks. I don't know how many times I've lost so many matches because I have a joint attack once. Please work with your teammate. Use your joint attacks. It is an activation where you press down and square, at least on PlayStation. And you press down and square at the same time and you activate a joint attack your teammate has to be i'm sorry they have to be in proximity and they got to be on coordination bro y'all gotta coordinate this is a team game that's really the big thing this is a team game 2v2 2v2 you cannot 1v1 so joint attacks are your best friend if you can get one off get it off get it off let that animation fly get it in your opponent's head let them see what's going on then you can set yourself up for another move right that's all i have for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my five tips and tricks, I guess, just to help you get started again. Help you get started. Help you, help you like, okay, okay, maybe I didn't really know some of this. Maybe I really didn't figure some of this out or how to use some of this stuff in a way. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. We're getting on in some more JJK Curse Clash content. Peace.